Hi. Hi, people, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am now live. Uh, I'm going to wait for some comments to come in. So, guys, this is going to be slightly different because you guys may need some give me some help. I've got Susie who's volunteering and helping, so you have to be really patient with me because obviously this was unexpected and um, none of the team members, of course, because they have a life, uh, was weren't, weren't able to help me moderate. Kristen will come in halfway in between the show um, when she's free to help me moderate. So, guys, bear with me. Oh, my God, there's 67, 70 of you already. This is insane. Really? It really is insane. You guys, honestly, are incredible. Um, so, I'm going to just keep treat this like... You guys are on my dining table with me right now. And I'm going to walk through. Hey, Susie. Susie's there, so I feel calm now. Um, so I'm going to just go through all the items. I hope this works um, because moderation, is, there is a skill behind it. There's some tech side, which I don't know how to do. So I'm going to shortcut and see if I uh, can obviously figure this out. So... Let's see how it goes, guys. If and anyway, we're hanging together anyway, so um, hopefully it'll be fine. So, welcome back. Shoe sizes I have are between are thirty eight, depending from thirty eight, depending on the shoe. Um, I know I love having you guys here. That's what I was like. My husband was like, "What are you doing? Are you doing another live show? Are you joking?" I was like, "Well, I could be just sitting on the sofa watching TV. I'm just going to go down to the dining room and." Um, I am going to chill with the girls. And he was like, okay, you do that. Um, so Olivia, I'm, I've got things scattered around, but I'll give you guys a quick preview of what's to come. So I have some Petite Mal Louis Vuitton tr trunks, which I will tell you all the story about. Um, these I really debated on whether I should sell or not. But anyway, these are the Petite Mal trunks. I have um, a, a medium, class, a small classic flat bag in... Uh, navy today and i have some shoes i have some backpacks i have a mess as well um i have a, a, a variety of different things um which i'm gonna go through and um, the duties and customs are covered shipping will be 15 pounds or 35 pounds 15 pounds for uk 35 pounds anywhere else in the world um olivia i am tomorrow or i'm i need oh my god can i guys we're 100 do you guys like these saturday shows so i'm starting to think like should i be just doing this on a saturday all the shows on a saturday like let me know what you think um because i quite enjoy having you guys here and um, but just be be warned i don't have team members around all the time so i'll tell you guys how it works um i'm going to show you an item wherever you are in the world, you can shop these pieces and we'll cover your customs and your duty. So as I'm talking, I will pin the price to the left-hand side of the screen, uh, which you can then tap on. There'll be further details on those items, um, hand-pictured items. You literally, like you're walking in the wardrobe with me, they're pictures off on a on a chair quickly um, that the girls help me organise. Uh, Yes, I know. I need to. I need to be doing this as well. So, um, I I'm going to ask you guys to tap on those images. The customs and the duties are going to be covered. Now, Susie, who has kindly offered to help, will be um, shouting out the prices, which I will pin. And you can tap on that. You can add it to your cart. You can use split it, which is a pay a, a, a payment method you can use, which you can shop interest free without any uh, customs and duty. Um, you just have to have the amount available on your credit card. It's very easy, easy to do. You can have Apple Pay, uh, Apple Pay, PayPal, credit card, and all the forms. Um, shipping to the US is £35, which is roughly around $50. But Stephanie, we cover your duties. So everything is covered for you. Um, it's just the customs and um, it's just the shipping that you need to pay for. But the price points are going to be great. So it's going to be worth, it, worth, your, worth your while. I don't have any ready to wear but tomorrow I'm going to try and put some ready to wear on. Guys, I can't believe I'm at 140. You guys, I'm like, do I feel like the love? I feel the love, guys. I really do. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for being here with me, especially on a Saturday night. 
So that being said, I'm going to start with the piece which I feel is like my star piece of today. And we never, we do not get petite mouths in full stop. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to get tea in between the shows, guys. I really am. So uh, this piece um, is a very special piece because it is, um, so I have, I'm, I have a very obsessive personality. If you guys haven't figured out, um, it is, if I love something, I love it and I buy it, I'll buy it multiple times. It's like for lunch, um, I, Crystal, there isn't a Chanel twee. I, I, I'm on a hunt for a beige one. I do have a Chanel 19 tweed, which I just need to sort out um, for you, but I, I I haven't forgotten. So um, when I love something, I love it and I always wanna keep it basically. And I had this obsession from around 2000 and I'd say 2013 was when I think the Petite Mal first came out. And I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. So if you don't know the story of the Petite Mal, the story of the Petite Mal is um, a re-edition of the Louis Vuitton trunk. So Louis Vuitton trunks are um, amazing trunk masters. They're known to have obviously amazing travel equipment. So they shrunk this. Um, yeah, Adam's very, Adam's amazing. He's like in the clouds upstairs with the kids, I can see he just ordered a movie on Disney to keep them active. <laughs> so, uh, very thankful for that. So, this I became obsessed with because these for me are truly collector's piece. And um, I remember when these originally came out, they're around the £2,000 mark. They're now around £4,000. I believe they're 3995 or 3950 now for these. I can tell you this will be 50% off retail. Uh, or, or slightly more. So as you can see, it's white epi leather with a little kiss sign. It's a small baby trunk. Um, it's in really good condition. There is literally no color transfer on this. Now it opens up like a, so you can wear it as like a, I'll put my chair back. So you can wear it as like a cute little trunk bag. Oh my God, we're at 152 people guys. And then you open it up and this comes up and it's got the beautiful, like, glossy epi leather to the front, which is what I love about the opening. And it has this little cute opening where inside it has a beautiful beige interior as well. And it has that epi leather. I know, Mel, I remember, like, I think I was, I was, think I was in, like, my early, mid-20s when these came out. Um, so it can be worn as a crossbody uh, strap. If we get to 150, uh, oh gosh, how am I going to do this? It's not got, it's not gone live. So let me see how I do this. Give me one second. We might have, I might, might be doing this completely wrong, guys. So let's see how this, how, how I'm going to get this going. So let me quickly show you as well. So you can see it can now be worn as a cute cross so it can be worn as a cross it can be worn as um, a little clutch the condition is pretty much nine out of ten there are some little fine hairline scratches here which is obviously from where it's been handled as well if we get to 250 guys i will do my luxury giveaway as well i don't have any vintage chanel uh Vintage jewelry boxer case. It, I know it's like a cassette. I don't have any vintage Chanel today. Um, so, uh, let me see why this isn't pinning. One second. Give me one moment, guys. I just need to send Kristen a message. Okay. I don't have any Dior pieces. I have Louis Vuitton, I have Chanel, I have Hermes, I have some Laura Piana, and that's it. Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Hermes are pretty much the three brands that I believe are great investment pieces. Dior saddles, Dior ladies, again, are great investment pieces. They're pieces I've typically collected in my lifespan. Um, and again, they're really, I, like, I, I think if you're gonna go for items which are really gonna hold their value and go up, 
going through those top three brands is um, incredible. Ah, oh, okay, Kristen is coming. Thank God she's coming online because Susie, I can't pin it. I thought it was a, she was like, it's too difficult to pin by yourself. So she's home. And um, I will reveal guys, I will reveal the price of this piece. So the price guys of this piece is 1,900 pounds. This is 2,000 pounds off retail, guys. So this is 1,900 pounds. Now, you can actually um, find this on, by typing in the SKU, ASL 4856. So if you type that SKU, which I've just put there, um, you will see that, um, ah, thank you, Susie. <laughs> Um, you will find this in the new arrivals section, or if you just take that skew, um, you'll also find this um, on the website right now. So you can head over to the website to see more details and further images, because I know the light isn't the best here. Oh, it's on the new arrivals. Thank you, FM. So it is on new arrivals. So if you do want it, add it to car. Honestly, it's such a beautiful bag, um, a really nice classic piece. And I will show you the Petite Mal next as well. The black one. Now, just a quick um, factor about white tones. Everybody always asks, like, how do you take care of your wet white bags? It's very, very simple. Do not. This is one thousand nine hundred pounds, Susie. Um, which I, if you can get me the dollars, that would be amazing. Um, so very simple on how to care for your white bags. Do not wear it with jeans. Don't. Don't wear it with a black dress. I stupidly wore a white bag in Paris with a black dress and it had it, it just got destroyed. So always wear this with a beige, either beige or cream or light tones, no jeans and no black, unless you're wearing like a nice black dress, which you know isn't gonna have any um colour transfer. So um the petite miles we net petite miles we never ever get in. So hey Christ, thank you so much. Um she, I could hear her with the kids. So Kristen is joining. She'll help me pin these pieces. This is on the new arrivals. So do head there right now uh, to grab this very rare piece. I don't think you can get the white one. It's got the three little kisses on it. So I'll put that down. I'll show you the next piece I have. Shipping to the UK um, is... Uh, um, Susie, can we all give some hearts to Susie who just helped me uh, pin the price so it's the white um petite mouth is 1900 pounds which is 2000 and 2109 us dollars which is 15 pounds shipping for uk and 35 pounds for the rest of the world thank you susie you are amazing thank you so much um hi samia samia's tuned in she's probably like what i should have asked samia to be honest um, it only comes with a box. So that does come with a box and a luxury promise dust bag. Um, so if you want to tap on the icon, it comes with a box and a luxury promise dust bag. Um, and customs and duty is included in that price. And again, thank you so much to Susie for revealing the price of this bag. Now I'm going to move on to the next bag I have. This is a limited edition. <laughs> um, Thank you, Kristen. It's pinned. Thank you. Gosh, Kristen, you're fast. You just literally jumped on the seat and she was like, I'm home, I'll help you. Um, this is a black petite mal. Now, this is actually a limited edition piece, so it's slightly more. Now, you can see that this has all the little post-it details on it, which is kind of like a little trunk where, you know, when you're traveling and you stick down your little stickers when you're traveling, that's kind of like the design of this. This is from the, it's like the Paris, New York, London stamp here. It has um, here the Louis Vuitton Maison, 1854, LV badge here. And then to the back, it has um, the Arc de Triomphe with the tri Triumph, uh, with the LV detail here as well. Now it's black epi leather. Now, just to point out, this one does have some press marks here from storage. And, um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Betty. That I really, really appreciate that. Sometimes I don't know what to do with my energy. <laughs> Poor Samia, by the time um, Samia is done with my energy, she's like, Sabrina. I'm like, you okay, Samia? <laughs> 
So, um, as mentioned, there are there's that press mark here, which actually I'm going to do a bit of um, take a bit off the price for this, Kristen. So let's take a 150 pound off, and then we have the beautiful. Uh, we do have some amazing prices, which um, we have. So here we go. Inside, it's nice and clean. And again, it comes the strap. So I'll quickly show you what it looks like. <laughs> Nils is good. So you can wear it as a clutch. And um, also just to point out that there is some just rubbing on this side. So there is some rubbing on the corners. So honestly, but with the price point that we're going to make it, we're going to take £150 off this. It's going to be an amazing price, guys. And remember, this retails over for the limited edition ones. I think they were over there around the four thousand pound mark. So, thank you guys. I can't wait to talk. I don't know if I'm going to let anyone else talk. So this is one thousand eight hundred pounds, which is one thousand nine hundred and ninety six US dollars. I don't know if I've got any under three thousand, but I do have some within the three thousand uh, pound mark. So. There you go, that's the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal. Uh, you can tap on the icon. Customs and duty is um, covered, guys, for the show. Thank you, everyone. Um, you are all incredible. So I really, really appreciate everyone being here right now. All 168 of you. We could get to 220. Um, the girls are on it, Susie, but honestly, Susie, again, thank you so, so, so much for helping me. Um, Susie's like, do you need any help? I'm like, actually, I do. I do need help. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, but the girls came to the rescue. We do have some Birkins at some crazy... We have some Hermes at crazy price points. So stay tuned, guys. Samia. <laughs> Sam so, okay, I'll tell you my story about makeup in a second. So when, um, when I was pregnant with my first child and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and have a more flexible job so that I could be around for my child. So I did, there's a, there's a, a company called Illamasca and they do amazing makeup. And um, they, I, they started like a course, a beauty course called Illamasca Beauty Course. So when Anna and I did a photography course, so I was like, Maybe I'll be a photographer. Maybe I'll be a makeup artist. When you're 25 and 26, guys, you're still trying to figure it out, um, which is okay. That, you know, it's completely okay. So I've done a lot. Diff I've tried to learn a lot of things before I realized that handbag selling was what I wanted to do. I studied law, didn't work out. Tried makeup artist, didn't work out. I tried photography. It didn't work out. You can actually type my kids got type on sabrina sadiq and sabrina taj sadiq because that's my maiden name another fun fact and you will find some of my photography work and makeup work on there and um, and then i tried mummy blogging when i had my child and i had a blog called royal mums so you can look at royal mums and see it was a really good name i had to go to the to the royal family to, to get the word royal approved because you know it's a trademarked word guys and then Finally, I like did reviews on buggies. I did everything. I did reviews on buggies, guys, and and like play areas and kids play clubs. Like I, I did everything, even the blog. I the the moral of the story is, you just don't know. You don't know when you can figure out life. So there you go. Tried it all. You can check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna move to my first backpack of the day. Um, yes, the Petite Mal, I'm the only owner of. So if you tap on the icon above, the white Petite Mal is in an excellent condition. You can find that out. And there you go. Um, I wasn't even, th I think I was like 20. Oh yeah, I think just before I turned 30. And then uh, when I was 30 is when I had that moment that I had to do Luxury Promise. So that's kind of when it happened. So here we go. This is, I had my children in my early 20s, like in my 20s. So I, I kind of like got married really young. So I was trying to figure it out as well. <laughs> um, okay, I'm only 30 now, yes. 
Here we go. So this is um, a backpack I was obsessed with. So I'm going to feature the holiday pendant at the end of the show. So this is a backpack that I was obsessed with. The Petite Mar has sold. One of them has. Was it the white one? Did the white ones? I think the white one has just sold. So congratulations. I was like, oh my God. These guys are probably thinking, what bad taste. So I'm glad someone grabbed my first bag. Thank you. Hopefully you bring me more luck. Um, that has gone. Yes, it is all a process. So congratulations. Let me know who uh, bought that. There you go. No, I'm just, everybody's just trying, everyone has a story. I don't, the more of the stories, I tried a hundred things. Like, you know what, I see these, this pressure on like younger children who are, younger girls who are like, you have to leave school and like, I look at my children, I'm now going into another story. You, I look at my children, I'm like, I have to prepare them for their life now. And they're only 10 and 11 and there's some parents whose kids are like 18 i'm like they're 18 they're not going to figure it out they could take 10 or 15 years to figure it out it doesn't really matter so that's kind of the moral of the story is we there's a time when we know what we're doing and here we go i still don't know what i'm doing but in my hands is this petite mile backpack now i absolutely love this bag it was one of the bags I actually bought from Luxury Promise. And actually, you'll see on um, my Instagram, I think there's a story. Re if you scroll all the way back to 2017, you'll find a story, um, a video of an IGTV of this being opened up, giving birth to another baby, Petite Mal. I thought it was really fun. I think it would go viral now. Now, this piece is in excellent condition. It's pretty much unused as well. Um, and... Is there an error? Uh, so, who did Danica get the white one? Oh my God, Danica, yay! <laughs> now, uh, let me quickly just show you inside. So this is the limited edition Jungle Dot Petite, uh, uh, Palm Spring backpack. It's the medium size. Um, I love this because you can wear it as a top handle as well and it's in a really good condition. To be honest, I don't think I even wore this I think I wore this for a few, a few photo shoots, but then never ended up actually using it. Um, so here we go. Looks very cute on. And you can also wear it as like a top handle. Now, when I go for backpacks, I always love going for backpacks with like a, a top handle so that you can easily get in and out of it as well. It features the pocket to the front and... You can see, oh, I've just closed it. It was open. Okay. Inside, I think it just sold. Someone just grabbed that already. I love this because inside, can you see? I have to turn it inside out just to kind of show you. I think it sold. Did it sell? Okay. Inside, guys, this is how I'm, I'm balancing my um, phone right now on oranges. <laughs> So inside it has, you can't see anything. So it was a good attempt. Inside it has the monogram detail. So who just got this? Because well done. That was a score, really. Like I, this is the one bag I, I just didn't want to let go, but I just wasn't using it. So well done, congratulations, Tina. Um, I hope you enjoy her and you will love her. And maybe we'll get to go into a jungle. I, like, I love like that little pink palm tree. <laughs> it is it's a fantastic price okay uh, do you guys want to meet coco my cat coco and introduce you to my cat coco sorry this that's my um big mirror oh here uh you'll see the mess of my house maybe i should have taken you past the mirror so this is my cat coco here we go coco he is a black scottish fold so his ears fold down and there his eyes. Look, how beautiful is he? He's big. That's my Coco. <laughs> That's my living room with a mess. And I'll quickly just show you this. I'm, you guys are seeing the full mess in my house now. I, I feel like you guys are already in my living room. But how cool is this photo? It's got like 
some amazing leaders and some amazing crazy people here as well. So yeah, that's a really cool piece of wall art. But anyway. Um, his name is not called Coco because of Chanel, by the way, just so you know. It is called, his name is called, I saw the painting. That is from a company called Andrew Martins. And the daughter of Andrew Martins has a pre-loved company as well. And I, I met her when she was like a little girl. Um, so, and now she's engaged and has her own company. If I remember the name of her company, I would give her a shout out. But she does some really cool vintage pieces, which I can't remember. But next time on my show, I will give her a shout out. It is a Hocus Pocus flat. So... A cat. So, Coco is called Tapa Coco. It's a, it's a photographer, and I can't remember the name, but my husband picked it, <laughs> so I have no clue about it. Um, but it's from a company called Andrew Martins. Uh, Dominique, yes, it's Jessica. Jessica, hi. Did you guys see the show with Jessica yesterday? Is that my Jess? I call everyone my just Tapa Coco, which is a Pokemon. So he's not named after Coco Chanel. My kids called him Tapa Coco. It is my Jess. Okay, so the shout out for and the daughter of Andrew Martin's head. The company's called Pre Love Style. Um, and her name is Dominic. So send her details about support, support her business. She does amazing, cute things. Um, and of course, her dad has amazing amazing artwork and gallery and sofa but guys did you see yesterday jess so me and jess um yes tapa coco i'm glad every, all the pokemon mums here know who it is um so there you go legendary pokemon <laughs> okay i'm not the only mum who knows about pokemon um so here we go jess do you want to come and do another show with me oh no okay you Pokemon, you play Pokemon as well. Oh my god, Mel, tell me more about it. So, um, I'm gonna start with the first Chanel bag of the day. Uh, is it the same breed as Hoka Poke? So Scottish folds is fold down, and I don't know much more about that. But like, it, he was just a really unusual looking cat, and I thought he was really cute. So, um, my friend who breeds, um. Scottish folds was like you can have him so she gave it to me as a gift <laughs> so my best gift um yet to come so this is um guys there are so many Pokemon fans here so you guys know that I'm just like a really cool cat mum because my cat's named after a Pokemon <laughs> okay so here we go this is a small caviar chanel flat bag guys um which is insane now there's colors that i really love which you i always tell you guys when i'm doing my own live shows i love colors which are um i'm just gonna i have to read ashley's comments but she's got four out of five kids have gone through the pokemon obsession not going to hide the fact that i went full on pokemon go but they have been obsessed with the cars lot do I used to love the old Pokemon movies, like the old Pokemon ones are really cute. And then they had the new one and I was like, this is really boring. Can we watch the old one? So I, I, I get the Pokemon. Um, so I don't know why I'm selling this. It is a newer piece. Um, it's navy, it's caviar, it's small. Now this is one of those pieces I know that will become more expensive over time and I'm not going to be able to get my hands on. Now, anything small caveat in a current um, season and style age, they do sell for around nine and a half thousand pounds. For the first time, and Jessica, if she's still here, will tell you, for the first time we've seen this year, Chanel bags actually sell um, around 20 to 30%, even in some occasions, 40% above the retail because they are so, so rare. Um, this one is small. It's navy, it's gold. You just will not get your hands on it. It comes with a dust bag and it comes with a box. Now, that's my favorite one too. I love the 2000 one. Now, uh, this one is a 24 series, but I don't have the card for it. Um, inside, 
it's nice nice and clean obviously obviously like little maybe like small small little marks to the like small obviously usage to the bottom it's champagne gold as well corners on this is hi brenna corners on this are perfect apart from i'm gonna flip the screen around apart from one corner which i'm gonna show you so i'm gonna flip the screen around because it's not the best lighting at this end so um corners are good on this corner but the where to the corner is here and the rest of the corners are absolutely perfect so it still has that amazing shine to it and again there's still the puffiness to it. it has that beautiful gold hardware it's caviar it's caviar it is caviar now why i picked this because navy generally in a flap is so hard to come by so when you see navy in caviar you you have to grab it kind of like what i did now i let Kristen reveal the price of this comes the box comes the dust bag no authenticity card um there are four images that are going to be popped up in just a bit again this is like i love the shine on the new caviar now this is 6875 which is below retail and um, which is 7626 us dollars super rare if you thought black was hard to find i can tell you navy is even harder so if you are looking for a really nice collectible piece, then um, you can tap on that above. I do have a black one tomorrow, but not today. Um, and it's more of a new, it's a newer season one, so the price will be higher. So this is really, really rare, as Nina's telling you. Navies and burgundies are really rare, and they're classics. They go with absolutely everything. So if you want to want this, tap on the icon above. I'm going to put her in her box for now while I move on to the next piece. So, guys, what do you want me to show you more of? More Chanel? More shoes? Let's do some shoes. Do some shoes. Um, hmm. Okay, I don't know. Uh, there's another one tomorrow. It'll be a short one. It will be a short one because I... <laughs> Um, okay, one well, I found from Adam's wardrobe. <laughs> he never wore this. So I'm like, I'm selling it because you're not wearing it. Um, this is an Hermes tie. Comes with box. It's never been used. It is like a pinky. It's most actually, the colour is mauve Sylvester. <laughs> and um, it still has its tags on. As you can see. Now this has really cute like design to it, which I'm just gonna quickly put on the table so you guys can see. It's like mauve. So here we go. He doesn't wear it, so he'll be happy. It's Mo Sylvester, guys. He was like, What do you think I am? A walking handbag? Yeah, I do think you're a walking handbag. <laughs> So there you go. It's like mauve. It's pretty. It's gray. like with a grey suit that would look like absolutely incredible. Um, no, he 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 usually loves ties, but he's like recently hasn't been wearing ties for work. Um, but again, a nice gift to have. It has the Hermes Paris to the back, and there you go. Now <laughs> he. He will be very happy. He'll get money in his bank account or money in my bank account for when it sells. And um, I will let this be pinned. So this does come with a box. Perfect for Christmas. Never been used. The colour is mauve Sylvester. And as I said, it will look nice with a grey suit or just like just a nice gift. A nice wedding tie as well. Or um, yeah. So. Um, I'm probably now going too fast for Kristen. There you go. There's a the tie up there. Tap away. So this is 135 pounds, which is 149 US dollars. I'm actually going to do a better price than that. Let me just quickly see. Um, I think the Hermes tires now are 155 pounds. 
So let's give get Adam's tire give Adam's tire price slash. Adam's first item he's selling. I do have a black caviar somewhere. I can't find it. Um Okay, I'm going to do it for £115, guys. So that's significantly below retail if somebody does want to give it to a man in their life so that you can come off Ban Island. Oh my God, we're at 193, guys. If we get to 250, we'll do the luxury holiday giveaway. So there we go. Uh, that is that. Okay, more Chanel. I can find one Chanel bag, which I know is an amazing price. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Blue. Now, I do really love blue tones, and I kind of like... Um, so, Kelly, if you tap on that, the um, when you check out, the price will update. So, if you are after the tie, the tie um, when you check out, the price will update as well. So, just check out as normal. I'll send you a man with a tie. I don't have any Chanel 19s, but I am on the hunt, guys. I don't have any for my collection, but I am on the hunt to find some more as well. Um, so, Danica's done well today. So, Danica, no more shopping for you. <laughs> and the tie has sold. Congratulations. So, um, here we have this incredible... Um, I thought I had more LV pieces, but I can't, I think not many, uh, left. So this is a, more of a current season, guys. It's a, I think it's a microchip one. I think it was a microchip. One second. This is more current season, guys. This is 2021. Um, tw sorry, 2022 in the summer microchip bag, which is in a beautiful lambskin in baby blue. Do you guys want more ties? I can go upstairs and get more ties if you need it. And this is the most, look how beautiful this is. Congrats, Fatima. It is absolutely incredible. It has this amazing CC detail on it, like a, a CC ball. And like, you can press this and you can adjust this, the side length. So. If you want to press this, you can adjust this uh, this bit here. It's, again, very, very cute. It has the matte gold finished hardware, which I kind of love about this baby blue. I'm going to go outstairs and play out of Adam's closet. Shall I do it? <laughs> He's like, why do you want me these ties? He doesn't even, he doesn't even wear ties anymore. Um, don't give me... Uh, look at the price, guys. Now... You can do your research. The mini soft lambskin flat bags, you cannot find for less than five and a half thousand pounds. This is microchipped. It's 2022. It's got the beautiful CC detail. This stuff can be worn as a really, really nice crossbody. It's the perfect um, everyday bag to use. But guys, I do recommend that this is a one of those bags that you do need to wear delicately um because it is lamb skin so the there are some scuff marks to the corners uh the back is fine um and i will just show you the inside has a beautiful gold interior do you guys want more men's items i didn't think you would and there you go it's got a microchip so anything more for newer season guys well you guys cannot get anything new season at this price point I promise you, this isn't going to be for eight, which is what they can sell for. It's not going to be for five. It's not going to be for three. It's not going to be four. It's not going to be three, nine. The price, guys, is going to be one of the lowest priced Chanel squares. The minis go for really, really good prices. And this is like the Miles program because you guys get to benefit from really good price points. But as mentioned, this is a small, it's got the... Um, some signs of wear to this and again this is just an insane price which is kind of I can do that because it's a personal bag of mine so I can give it to you at a better price point and again this is going to be I think it's 3750 
I will let that the dollar price come up. So this is three thousand seven hundred fifty pounds, which is four thousand one hundred and fifty nine USD. So we try to give you little points by giving you some good prices, some slashes, covering your customs and your duty. But we will get a rewards program soon. So uh, here we go. Tap away above. It is available, guys. It's a beautiful celeste blue. It's like a nice ice blue. If you have a love, I love blue tones, guys. I really do. Absolutely love blue tones. Okay, I'm going to pull out some shoes. Um, now, these pair of shoes I have. So, guys, when it comes to, like, shoes and, like, uber luxury and going for those things that will just last you a lifetime. Now, when shopping, I think about, I want the best of the best and I want the best of cost per wear. Um, I don't, I do have a holiday pendant. I'm, I'm, I can show you today. Um, I don't have any other Van Cleef. I do have the holiday pendant, which I do have available now to show you, um, which I'll show at the end of the show. Someone needs to grab that baby blue one. It's a, an amazing price. Uh, I prefer what LP does with complimentary gifts and discounts way better than the reward program. And uh, my shoe size is from 38. Um, I think there is more of LP board supporters meeting lol. <laughs> it is it's like you guys are honestly guys i just need to have you guys everywhere um i'm gonna do a like i have to, maybe i have to do a live stream during the forces of fashion talk um and even if you can hear it and i can be like oh my god you guys are there then that would be amazing um oh my god sophia you need to come and drop pieces off okay so um let me just show you what I have here. I do have a Birkin, I have a Kelly Aldo and a Kelly Dance coming up as well. Okay, so this is a pair of Laura Piana shoes. Now, Laura Piana shoes are, for me, like uber luxurious. It's a, a newer brand that I've only just really come to in the last two years um, because obviously I was more like, I want the Chanel's first and I want the Louis Vuitton's. So Laura Piana I realize is so hard to come by. Like you just can't get your hands on this. Now, this is actually a pair uh, that I bought for um, a friend who then decided they didn't fit her. I'm not sure they decided they didn't fit her, but they didn't fit her. Now, these are the Laura Piana, uh, the Sabrinettes. We're at 207, guys. Can we get to 250 for the luxury giveaway? Can we? So, so Dickets, guys, you're amazing. So, this is a size 41. Um, and these aren't mine. They were for a friend who wanted them. But actually, in these, in the summer walkers, um, or any slide on shoes, I do recommend going for a size up. So I actually wear a size up on mine. Now the summer walkers, open toes in black, in navy. Sorry, because you know I love navy. Uh, has that beautiful white piping, um, and they are just the most comfortable, comfortable shoes on. You cannot get pretty much Laura Piana shoes. It's so hard to come by. And I do have this exact same pair. Um, Samia loves wearing her Laura Pianas with just like chinos and like a shirt and a blazer or a t-shirt and a blazer. And these just really make them super elegant. And again, you've got the little Summer Walker charm here as well. And if you are 40, you can go for a 41 um, on the slide ons, but usually on the closed back Summer Walkers, you can't you go size down because they stretch over time as well oh my god they are nilsa oh my god nilsa i'm going on the going to be in new york on the 14th um i have to come where do, where will it be can you send me the details i can grab you some bits do you want me to do a live show do you want me to do a live show streaming from from an out a sample cell if we ever get to go to one let me know that could be an idea to do I could do that for you. There we go. So um, comes the box, dust bag. Again, classic, classy pair of sliders. You cannot go wrong. You just need to grab these. If you are a 40 or a 41 um, and you just, again, grab these. I do recommend half size up. Um, so this is a 40 and I recommend 40. Uh, uh, this is a 41, but it would fit a 40. So there you go. It is now up above, up in the top. Um, 
these I grabbed for my friends and then I forgot that I forgot to get give them back so I do have those with me. So they are 950 pounds which is 1053 US dollars. Um Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm just listening to your ideas. So, I was just saying, um, I will do, one day I should do a live stream from like an outlet, so that if, if I'm shopping, you guys can shop with me and I can grab you bits. Um, okay, another pair of shoes I have here. These are the Hermes shoes in an espadrille. Um, somebody did want them, but someone messaged me and wanted these. So if you are on this show, please let me know. They're the, um, the, the um, Amber Espadrilles. If you are online, please let me know. I know the ladies will let you have first dibs. So if you are on the live show, please let me know. I don't have any clothing today, um, but tomorrow I do. Um, so I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a live stream and get Barney <coughs> to live stream. Sorry. Um, so I'm just going to see if the... Guys, because I have a few DMs and I forgot to screenshot the message of someone who wanted these. So if they're on the show, please let me know if you want this. And I'm sure one of the, the ladies or the gentlemen's here will let you have dibs on this. So this is an incredible pair of Hermes Espadrille wedges. I love wedges. I think they're super comfortable. This is in the color amber. This swift leather. And again, they have never been used. They do fit true to size. They have a really nice um, three and a half inch heel. Very pretty. Now, why I love these is because um, they are the Kelly espadrilles. So they tie up your ankle. I'm not, I'm not going to show you my feet, guys. Uh, they tie up the ankle and they have the opening of a Kelly. Can you see? So they have the opening and closing of a Kelly, ba Kelly bag. Um, anything Kelly like this is really like that against the angle is, oh my God, so incredible. They're a size 38 and um, they're UK size five. I'm not too sure on the US sizing guys, but these are absolutely amazing and um, they do fit true to size and they come with everything like the box, the dust bag. Now guys, these retail at 750 pounds. So these are way below retail. Um, th this is five about five hundred and sixty-two pound fifty. Now you guys know anything like with the Kelly buckle can go for a premium, but today the five hundred and sixty-two pound fifty. Um, they are a UK five, which I believe is a US seven. Is that correct? The price is five hundred sixty-two pound fifty, which is six hundred twenty-four US dollars. 38 is a 30, uh, 38 is a UK size five, which I believe is a US seven. Fit true to size. If you want them, you can tap on the icon above. And they're the Kelly Espadrilles with a palladium hardware to the front. And they come complete with the box, dust bag, and everything. So there you go. That's available if yellow is um, your color. I mean, that with like a summer dress is just wow. Let me quickly check Google. Uh, Kristen, what is, do you know the US sizing? You're from the US, no? I was a USA. So let me get US shoe sizing up on my computer since I'm going through shoe sizing. So, uh, the confusion, the silence. It's like the moment of concentration. Um, so a US 38 is a 7.5 um, from this chart. But then, I don't know if this chart is right. So, I'm going to, where can I find US shoe converters? Now I need, Now I need Nikos's chart, guys. I know, it's really confusing. That's why I was just looking now to look at sizes. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm, I don't know what I'm looking at now. Now I've just confused myself. Okay, so 
A 38 is a 7.5 from what I can see on most sites. Yes. Barbie's saying a 38 is a 7.5 from what most sites say. So there you go. If you're a 38, you're a 38. Now, let me go on to the next pair of Hermes shoes, which are, again, going to be below retail, guys. If you want them, you can grab them. Okay, so the first pair of shoes, next pair is... Guys, I love amber tones. I just love the amber tones. Um, this is another size 38, which is a US 7.5. This has, like, different shades of amber and caramel. So it has, like, amber, it has... Uh, apricot it has the white now these are called the de Ancre, which is the like the little um connection that you have against bags it's in white it's in yellow and again this is just so incredible paired up with like this to just add some color this for me is again in excellent condition. It's never been used. It comes with a box and the dust bag and it will be below retail. And um, they have beautiful leather trimmings. And again, they do fit true to size. They're just so pretty, right? Like really girly pair of shoes. I love girliness on shoes. Like I really do. Leif? Sorry, my son's like, mommy's like, mommy, where are you? And there you go. Um, again, never used. They're called the Talassa sandals. Super comfortable. And congratulations, I believe the Espadrilles have sold. Honestly, you will love them. So thank you so much. Here we go. Candy corn. This is 443 pounds. The retail price on this is £590. So this is $491 US dollars or £443. And the retail price is £590. So everything, all the shoes today I'm going to show you um, is going to be below retail. Apart from the exception of uh, a pair that maybe I didn't. So get at retail, below at retail. So there we go. But it's still going to be below what I paid. So... That's available. That's also been pinned. You can tap on the icon. That price includes your customs and your duties. Uh, more shoes, guys. Should I do more shoes? Do you want me to do more shoes? Or do you want me to move on about it? Because I know it's not everyone's a 38. Or should I come back to some shoes? Diet Coke break. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a bag. I'm going to do a bag. <laughs> okay, I have hair, guys. Caviar, apricot or beige, jumbo classic flat bag with gold hardware in very good condition, guys. It's a jumbo. Now, this is something that people just do not get rid of because... Jumbo bags now, guys. You know, the retail is around the £9,000. Um, this is in very good condition. It's got gold hardware. It's a double flap. It is just the most insane condition. Now, this only comes with a box. It doesn't come with an authenticity card. Now, this piece is... Um, let me quickly tell you the series. is a 16 series. Um, I moved around a few times, so I don't know. Did it come there's a card here. So this doesn't come with a card, guys. Now, beige caviar flat bag. Absolutely love the jumbo size. And congratulations to whoever just bought those shoes. Well done. Who bought them? Now, I, I love the fact you can wear a jumbo as like a clutch bag. And you can wear it over the shoulder as well. And you can wear it as like a nice cross bag. So it's a really beautiful beautiful size and i'm going to flip the screen just so you guys can see the full condition of this and in the meantime i'm just going to put a light on get some more light okay oh amazing lord you'll love them they're like so pretty okay i'm going to flip the screen so you guys can see the condition of this okay so, again, really nice condition. 
tiny wear to the corners, like literally tiny. Again, we just don't get the jumbo caviars in often, especially not in beige or black. And I just love this. So this particular beige is actually known as apricot. So you can see the corners. There's like tiny rubbing to the corner. Like it's such a stunning color. There's literally no color transfer to the back, which I just wanted to show you. And again, it's this, it's a jumbo structure. It has still maintained like, for me, it's just one of those bags that is a classic. It's just going to become more and more expensive. You guys will know that will be another price increase in January. Um, so this is... This for me, honestly, Christmas gift. Like, grab them now. And guys, I, I, I have been very transparent about prices with you guys. In November, guys, we will see an almost a 20% price increase in, in the pre-love bags guys not i'm not just talking around the thing but obviously the brands have had so many price increases we're gonna see the kick in in november and i've said that in so many shows this is like lastly you've got a two-week window to grab this so the price guys for this chanel caviar it is my only other caviar i have today it is £6,110, which is $6,677 US dollars. Um, price point is really amazing on a jumbo beige caviar flat. Comes with a box and a dust bag. But this is just really special if you're looking for that one piece. That is like, again, something that you can grab, wear, and again, go up another in value as well. So... Let me show you the next bag that I'm going to show you. It's a Birkin. Okay, guys, I'm telling you, I'm taking a seat back, guys, here. I might, get, I might go to the kitchen and put the kettle on. I really am. Guys, be prepared. Be prepared. Um, the price increases will happen on everything on all bags because the demands for items people are going shopping for christmas so there is going to be um it's a double flap uh nils uh niha nihi it's a double flap um price increases will happen on everything because the everyone's shopping for christmas there's less supply obviously the dollar is is stronger than the pound so items are more expensive to buy and i believe the jumbo has just sold so Congratulations to whoever just bought that. Uh, Louis Vuitton will have a price increase as well. So here we go. I'm going to move on. Who bought it? Who bought the double flat? Okay. This is a white, snow white Birkin 30. Now, guys, just go do something for a second. Go to Hermes, well, not Hermes. Well, you can go to Hermes. Um, who bought the who bought the sh jumbo? Go to the website, Google White Birkin 30 Epsom Palladium Hardware. Now, tell me the price points that you see on a So White. Now, guys, this for me is a holy grail of bags. Now, one of the reasons why I'm selling this bag is because if you guys didn't see, I'm, I did give you guys all the opportunity to buy the... Um, special order Panda Birkin, which was black and white. So the black and white one was always what I wanted to go for. So I've got that. So I'm like, well, if I'm going to wear that one, I'm not probably not going to wear this one as well. Now, Epsom is very hard to come by. Um, Epsom's, Epsom you can spar, but generally Box is the best and Swift is the best to spar. Now, this is a Snow White Birkin. It's played in hardware. Now, just to point out, there are tiny signs of rubbing to the corners, which is obviously very normal. This is a bag that I actually bought pre-loved as well. So it wasn't a bag I could buy from the store because they haven't done the Snow White Birkins for such a long time. It's all Epsom. There is somewhere to the handles and I will run down to see if I can get to get up. To, I will throw a twilly in. I'll let you pick a twilly. 
and um inside just to point out there is a mark inside the bag but you can put a bag insert and i'd say that the there is tiny wear obviously there's wear to the handles i'm gonna flip the price now guys for birkin dirty uh, these will sell in the, in the resale market around the 14 15 pound mark but guys this is my bag and i'm just i'm i'm obviously selling it for what i paid i'm not look i actually am not making any money on this um purely because i just want someone to have the opportunity to, to rehome this and really really love it it's so white it's got the um leather on the the padlock I obviously could give you the a good price because it's the price that, you know, I was able to obtain it for. And I will go downstairs and run and get you a twilly if somebody does want to buy this piece. Again, it's just a beautiful, beautiful pop of colour. Not It's a, a, a white canvas tone. I'm going to flip the screen. So, guys, it's it's £9,750, which is US dollars So, I'm going to flip this so you just can see the condition. So there's like just fine hairline scratches on um, to the plate. Now, let me quickly just show you. So there's some rubbing to the corners. And then the back is really nice. There's no color transfer. And as mentioned, there's that little bit of rubbing to the corners. This I purchased pre-loved and I will give you a twilly because the wear is to the handle. But obviously with white, you wear twilly and then inside you can see oh oh why is my phone doing that my phone zooms in at the bottom there is a mark inside so it's palladium hardware and you will get a twilly with this purchase there'll be a twilly with this purchase guys like i could actually sell this for literally almost like double the price so if you do want this it is such a fantastic piece it's a size 30 and there we go it just it's one of those perfect bags now again i'm not too bothered about whether this sells or not because it's one of those pieces that even if it's sitting there for like a year it will just go up in value um i mean that this is really is a great investment piece even if you are going to use this just to wear for summers and guys like when you buy these expensive bags and don't wear them every day i mean don't they get wrecked they're not going to become an investment if you wear them every day it's a h in a square which i think is around a 2004 and this comes with a twilly which i can give you the option to pick i'll have to run downstairs and see what twillies i can give you with this so if you want it, grab it, guys. Honestly, at £9,750, it is an absolute steal. The price is a gift. Split it over the... Thank you, Dana. 800, is that £813, guys? We've split it. Like, the price is insane. Okay. There we go. Tap away. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, I'm going to move on to a pair of shoes. 2004 oh i'm good i remember it was 2004 thanks bonnie i miss you bonnie bonnie was away um yes debbie good question and well spotted so um the padlocks go the coated padlocks uh go on special edition bags which are your lizards ostrich no uh, crocodile and alligator and the white birkin they're the only ones which have a coated can a coated padlock and special edition ones so um another pair of shoes i have here which is again going to be below retail they're a size 38 i mean the birkin sold oh my god i have to run down i have to run down i'm gonna run down and I am going to get the Twillies. Oh my God, how amazing. I can hear my husband in the, congrats, who bought it? I can hear my husband in the kitchen pretending to make me tea.
Au! Melissa! Oh my god, which Melissa? Sorry. Oh my god, Melissa! Ah, I'm so happy! Congrats! Okay. I like purple. What can I say? I mean, you don't have much options. They're both purple. But let me show you the twillies you can pick. They've never been used. Um, so you have this... Um, Twilly, which I love because inside this, um, the Twilly has like a little horse inside. Can you see inside the lampshade? You have these cute little like uh, detail. It's got the per uh, the green on it, and then on one side it's got yellow. And then you do. Oh my god, it's the best dining table. I love it. And then this one has on one side, so I always go for double-sided twillies, that's just my thing. So this twilly, you can tell me which one you want. This twilly has like yellows and like little flowers, but then on this side, it's like more of a block design. But let me show you it on and you can tell me. Okay, this is, let's see, let's see, let's play around. That, that's what I like to do with my bags is because obviously, um, I love to see what I can do, like do, like how it changes up the look of the bag. Now I do recommend put, putting at least one twilly on your bag to protect the handles. So I'll just show you what this looks like on. So tying twilly, quick little um, tutorial on tying a twilly. So you want the tw you want the second one, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on twi tying a twilly. So you always start from the middle of the bag. I like this side better, but anyway, because uh, it's got the white in it. So you start from, um, oh, anyway, well, I don't know what I've done now. So anyway, I'm gonna start from this side. So you start in the milli middle so that you can get it even and make sure it's even. And then you then simply just twist it around because it, it actually stops it from moving. If you want, I can tie it on before it comes to you. Um, which I've probably done really wrong now because I'm like doing it backwards. So there you go, there's one side. And then, um, again, you can make it longer should you want it to be longer, depending on what you want. Sorry, and obviously you need to cut the label off. So, you just go all the way around on this, I can tie it on nicely for you. And there you go. There's a twiddly handle, which I've probably done very badly. But again, I mean, you can pull it tighter to make it tighter. And if you want to make it longer, you can make it longer, but you would then tie it up like this. So there you go. Um, I'll make it, I'll do it nicely before it comes home to you. There you go, congrats. Um, so trick is always tie the twiddly from the beginning. So I'm on the shoes, I need to turn my heating off as well. What is, guys, tell me your budget of your Birkins because you know if I can get the Birkins in your budget, I will make sure I have them. I'll, I'll make sure I'll get them for you. That's my mission in life. What are people's budgets for Birkins? Can everyone give me a goal of what their budget is? Like, do you want, would you pay 8K, 9K? Um, obviously for the 30s, it's pretty much impossible to get them in the 10,000 pound, under the 10,000 pound mark. Obviously this one was mine, so I was able to do that. So if I can do it for others, I, I promise I will definitely do it. But tell me your budgets for, um, your Birkins. I don't have any black box Birkins. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, here we have a pair of shoes, 8,000 under 10K. 
$9,000. 8K. So it looks like everybody would pay between the eight and 9,000 pound mark. So I'm gonna hunt, I'm gonna hunt the world. Um, right, I, I love these. I mean, this for me is just amazing. Now, this pair of Hermes Kelly sandals, again, has this would go perfectly with that Birkin. These are black and gold. With the Kelly Buckle shoe set to, uh, um, to the top with Palladium hardware. It has a little tiny little kitten heel. These are super, super comfortable. And I'm, I'm seeing everyone's... So it looks like um, everyone would be, would be want between the, the, the $8,000 to $12,000 pounds, sorry. And I've got an $8,000 as well. Um, I'm going to hunt 12 k for a Birkin 30 Guys, we'll try. You will try. If you guys tell me exactly what you want, I will try. All I know is the black, the whites, the blacks are really, really hard to come by as well. And um, amazing, Sarah. See, you made an investment. Remember when that was 6995 Okay, so this again is in swift leather. It's got white, the plaid and buckle. And again, you've got this incredible... Um, gold tones this has a classic tone throughout now um the re uh, the retail value on this is 850 850 pounds anything with a kelly buckle generally is just much more expensive to buy these are a great neutral great for winter i mean great for summer sorry they're a size 38 us that uh us 7.5 uk5 and they come with a dust bag they've never been used as you can see, they're very special. And I'll show you the other shoe. Oh my God. I mean, the most of Esther VJs is insane. Um, but the price points you're gonna be looking in the 20, like minimum I've seen them going at 23 and a half thousand. So here we go. Really classic pair of shoes with the Kelly buckle. My favourite Hermes boots for winter are the Kelly Riding boots, and you have the ankle versions as well. The only Van Cleef I have today is the holiday pendant. So, um, these are unused and come with a dust bag box and the bag. So, they're pinned right now. They're a size 38, which is a US, uh, US 7.5. And they come with the box. It's a third. Oh, oh my God, these are 37. You're right, these are size 37. They're not 38. They are size 37. That's probably why. Probably got the wrong size here. That's why they're going. These are size 37. It's a 37. You're right, they're a 37, which is 638 pounds, which is 707 US dollars. Because girls got issues. <laughs> I have issues. I've got issues and lots of tissues. <laughs> so there you go. These are now available. They are literally retails eight fifty on these. If you want them, tap on the icon. And there you go. <laughs> okay moving on to another pair of shoes and no no the, so lisa the laura pianos was for a friend of mine which she asked me to pick up and i then she didn't they she, they were too big for her i can't remember they didn't fit her and then I was meant to go and get them returned. And I didn't get them returned because I ended up traveling. And now I've got them stuck. So, yeah, basically, that's why I have them. Okay, so here we have, guys, someone needs to grab these. Someone needs to grab, grab, grab these. Now, they are the Santorini's. Um, which, I don't know, should I keep these or sell these? Um... 
Yeah, we should do, I should do a makeup spa day, like a makeup hangout, guys. Okay, so these are the Santorini's, which I absolutely love. Now, these I just grabbed because I thought I could tie them up and they would uh, go around my ankle and I could tighten them and then they just kept sliding off. Um, so again, these are a size 39. So if you are a UK six, these are absolutely incredible. And um, these have the beautiful, like cute tassel detail here as well. Um, so these again are in swift leather with black and they have the twilly design to the base. This is a UK six, the only UK six I have today. It's the only UK six I have. They're the Santorini. So, so they're the, like the Hermes Orans and they just tie up on your ankle um, because I actually have a pair, a lizard pair of these um, with the ankle and they fit me perfectly in the 39. But I think because um, lizard is much more of like a, it was much more of a, it had been lined, so it was a bit more harder, whereas it's a bit more of a um, softer one. So this is a size 39. Um, they're for me a UK six, which is, uh, if Barbie is still there, I don't know if Barbie's still there or if Kristen knows. Oh, I don't know the pin on my phone, so I can't check now the sizes on this. Again, very, very hard to do, to get hold of. There are 39, I, I go true to size. So Maggie, um, if you saw a pair on a power hour before, grab them during the live show now and um Kristen will make a note to cover your customs and duty so uh, these have now been pinned the retail on these are 630 so Maggie will cover your customs and duties if you um so candy collection is roughly you can you can find Birkins around 8995 or 9995. Typically, that's the exact price point for, for a 35 right now. So just under £10,000. So the Santorini's are available. I will let Kristen reveal the price in just a moment. Um, and Maggie, if you place the order now, I can cover your customs and your duty as well. Um, and there you go. Where is my Hermes bag? Okay. Price is amazing, guys. The four hundred and seventy-three pounds, which are five hundred and twenty-four US dollars, amazing price, guys. They blow retail, um, so significantly blow retail. So grab them. Okay, so I'm going to show you this very rare Kelly Aldo backpack, and I believe they have just sold. So congratulations. Um, so the Kelly Aldo backpack, guys. I, I'm going to very be very frank with you. I don't like backpacks. I Love the Kelly dance. It does fit really nicely as a backpack, but I just don't wear a backpack. Um, I just, yeah, I just don't wear backpacks very, it's just not my style. I did have the Kelly Aldo in my collection just because I I felt like it had to be part of my collection. Um, and I just, again, you know, I'm a big fan of the navy tones. This is Blue and Wheat with gold hardware, um, which I'm obsessed with. Uh, I like I love the color blue wheat because it's got, got those like black tones, gold tones. Now, a little bit about the Kelly Aldo backpack is that it is very rare to come by. Now, if you guys want a Kelly Aldo backpack, Nina, this is incredible. I know you are on Band Island, but Band Island, but maybe this could be something that might take you off, but then completely ban yourself. Um, now, this guys, who bought the shoes? So, guys, this is. If you want a Kelly dance, a Kelly Aldo, a Kelly cut, a Kelly pochette, a Kelly mini Kelly, any Kelly, it has to be on the wish list. So you can't just walk in and get this. You have to put yourself on a wish list. Now, the Kelly Aldo, I managed to grab when it just launched as a, um, as a backpack um, or had just been reintroduced because the other version of this was the Kelly sports and the Kelly backpack, which was a, a, a more of an older design as well as the Kelly dance. Now, this for me is just absolutely stunning. It's got the gold hardware. It's a really beautiful bag to wear. And the reason, again, why I'm selling this one is because I don't wear backpacks. It's just, I'm just not, I'm, I'm always running around. I feel like 
with my like lifestyle and I need like a bigger bag. Um, now guys, I'm just gonna quickly sh um, show you the stamp on this, which is um, roughly, I believe around 2019, 18. So inside, let me just quickly show you. It's really, really nice and clean. It's, it's in pristine, pristine condition, guys. Um, and as mentioned, this was around th um, four, five years ago when they just literally launched the Aldo. Now, the Aldo is pretty much like impossible to get. And when they do get them, guys, you can see the prices of my dances um, that we have on the website. You're looking around £15,000 to grab these. Now, um, did the Santorini's double sell? Okay, so you can see it's blue and wheat. So in some lights it looks black and it's got gold hardware. This is crafted from um, Togo. There is a tiny bit of rubbing to this corner, um, but the rest of the corners are perfect. It is adjustable and I will show you how you will adjust it. So you can wear it as like a, a, a cross to the front. And... show you what it looks like on it's a cute i mean it's such a fun bag a fun young bag for me i just think my i i, I love I, I love a blade like wearing big shoulder pads with my blazers and i found this is a bit of a struggle to put on so um again blue nui gold hardware togo leather excellent condition apart from there's rubbing on that corner so i'd say i'd rate it eight out of ten because of the rubbing to the corners as well and stuff still double selling I see stuff selling but I don't know what's selling <laughs> and again here we go just beautiful now this is blue nui it's 8,500 pounds which is 9,430 US dollars it's just a cool ladies back I don't mean, I mean, like, again, think about this. Like, go and look online to see if you can find an, another Aldo backpack at this price point in Blue Nui with the gold hardware. Um, you just, again, you're just not going to find this. It comes with a dust bag and it comes with a box. So this comes with a dust bag and a box. Um, and it just is such a, like, a, a great piece. I know you are building, if you are building a collection, then this is really just special to have now just tap away um it's just rare it's just stunning it is really beautiful like i did really have to think about this bag so uh next are you ready i am going to do an auction on this piece did I add this in my collection? So the skew on this um, crystal is ASL4840. I really love navy tones. I, lo like, I love navy, guys. I really do. You know what I tell everyone I love navy and I love burgundy? Um, I, I just, you know I do, right? So, here we go. Um, everything I have online, guys, I will take offline. But Nina, if you think about it, if you want it in a month's time, fine, no problem at all. It'll still be there after the show. So I'm going to be taking stuff online as well. Um, so generally, Dipti, the Birkin 30s go from around 15k upwards for an Epsom in greens and blues. So this is another navy, guys. It's a maxi. It's navy and it's maxi. Um, maybe I won't do, I'll do a great price on this point. I'll tell you what it is. So, this is the bag. I have no more Hermes left. I have one Hermes bag left. Also, maybe. It is just amazing. You can cover your custom. I think the band and postcode and the customs are free. Yeah. So, here we go. Silver hardware. It's a single double, sorry, a double flap. Um, 
inside it is nice and clean just to point out it does have a loose stitch here so if you are looking to obviously you can go to chanel and they can just re put the stitch back in as well there is no mark in the back i will flip the screen so you can see there are marks in the corners which i am going to show you now i'll flip the screen so you can see fully the condition okay It has rubbing to the corners, guys, because this is like a maxi that was used as like a work bag to put laptops in. So it does have rubbing to the corners. And I'm actually going to do a bit of a further discount, Kristen, on what you the price you see. Here we go. Now, there are no marks. And again, there's rubbing here as well. It's caviar. And then as mentioned, it is a double flap as well. And there you go, that, there's that loose stitch there, which I said, as mentioned, you can have the stitching repaired directly from Chanel, if you want to have that stitch re-stitched. It's, re it's a very easy um, thing that can stitch. <laughs> okay. Are we revealing the price, guys? Are you gonna reveal the price, Kristen? Kristen's like, no, what are you doing? Uh, mm, so, Price, guys, on this, guys, is £3,900, which is US dollars I know it's, people do want this. And as mentioned, there is some rubbing to the corners. If you wanted to have it just like the corners retouched, you could and have the stitch restitched. Um, again, this is like, for me, absolutely insane. So um, they won't, if it's recolored, they won't touch it, but Harrods in London do have it. So guys, it's a maxi. The maxis go for much more. You can fit your laptop in. It's £3,900, which is 4,000, what was it? 4,326 US dollars. It includes your customs and your duties. It's a maxi. It's caviar. It's not lambskin. It's caviar. So I'm just going to let Coco out. And it's navy. Okay, Coco, are you going out or are you staying in? Oh, sorry. I was just talking to the cat. So there we go. It's available. Tap away. Lots of navies. I, I, I need to get a new colour I'm obsessed with, guys. Okay, what else do I have in here? Hmm. Oh, it's old. Congratulations to whoever just got that. Uh, do I have this in? Oh, so. I don't have any, um, any more Birkins left today. Or, like, left generally <laughs> okay so the next one i'm doing is awl 2769 um this for me is still available it's a medium super shiny gen honestly congratulations congrats it's such a an amazing buy um so this is a black Medium Diana, which is in the most insane condition, guys. It's super shiny, it's glossy, it's got the 24 karat gold gilding. Congrats, guys, congrats on that. Honestly, that was an incredible buy. I'm glad someone was able to score themselves a caviar for only £3,900. So this piece, guys, as you can see, it's in excellent condition. Corners are perfect, it's super shiny, the gold is shiny. And for me, this for me is just like, wow. Okay, let me show you the inside. Inside is nice and clean. This doesn't come with an authenticity card. It's a three series, so like around 1996. 
94, I think, above, from 1994. Beautiful burgundy interior. This comes with a dust bag. It comes with a box. It is just in the most insane condition. And I will flip the screen because someone needs, if you're looking for a beautiful vintage bag with the, look at the gold, guys. It's like super shiny. I'm going to flip the screen so you guys can see. So here we go. Corners on this are immaculate. Look at the gold. It is shiny, shiny, shiny. And it does go crossbody. I will style it in just a second for you. It's a medium. Now, again, this is just perfect for me. Kristen, I love Kristen's little, like, um, commentary on the side when she's like having a, a full blown panic attack. Okay. This is just immaculate. This is like a vaulted piece. So it was per purchased and just sat there. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is what it looks like on. As a cross. Hey, Farah. And again, the condition on this is insane. It comes with a box, it comes with a dust bag. The gold has no tarnish whatsoever. Look at the gold. Look at that, super yellow. Now the price on this piece. Did you come to the shop? Did I see you in the shop? Or, um, here we go. Or do you mean on the live show? So this is £4,200, guys, which is $4,659 US dollars. Okay, another pair of shoes. I have no vintage flaps. I have... Nothing left. Literally. Guys, I have no more bags left now. Um, it doesn't come with a card. Um, oh, yes, Farah, how amazing. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your live. Um, the girls are always, like, when I'm around, I try and have. Okay. Here we go. Kristen. Kristen. I think these are your size. These are also, guys, a size, how do I see this? So this is a size 38, 36. How do I see the size on this? So guys, these aren't my shoes. Uh, again, these are a pair of, this has actually come from a personal shopper who has purchased these pieces. Now, guys, again, I was able to grab these at such an amazing price. They're 36.5. They're the newest Hermes Shipraise that have been introduced with the stud detail. Now, if you know Hermes Shipraise, they go for premium, 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 premium prices. You will have never seen these. If you're a 36, you should grab these. They're 36.5. We're always recommending going half a size up. I could easily sell these for around £1,950. Now, if you are 36, uh, grab these. They're 36.5. And um, Jen, they, I, they don't replace turn locks. I think they do replace the turn locks. They don't do it on vintage ones, which I would never recommend doing. Um, and um, if the bag has been touched up, I don't think they will touch the bag. So this is all black. Come with the dust bag and the box. They have the beautiful detail to the side. Now these um, were again given, these are something that they're not mine. They were given to me by a personal shopper who bought them for a client who then backed out. And then I ended up um, getting them from her. Uh, so the price points on this is going to be insane because you just, we usually get these sold to us at premiums and then more premiums. This is a limited edition one. 
so the, they're more expensive because of the stud detail to it. This is £1,725, which is $1,913 US dollars. Denise, do not the black Chanel Diana is literally a nine out of ten in condition. It needs no touching up whatsoever. Guys, don't touch up your bags if they don't need it. Um definitely don't touch it up, especially the black. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's perfect as it is. It's an insane condition. And um, of course, if something needs a bit of touch up and you're getting a good price for it, then touch them up. But in most occasions, I always tell guys, don't touch your bag up. Do it from Chanel. Do it from Hermes. If Hermes refuses it, if Chanel refuses it, don't bother doing it. You're going to devalue your bag. I know lots of people recommend leather surgeons. I personally would not have any bag touched. I took the bag as it was. It was used. It was pre-loved. I used it and I enjoyed it. It devalues your bag. Chanel will not take your bag in if it's been touched up from another external party. As a professional, I don't recommend it. I don't like it when other people recommend it. Personal choice, guys. But as someone who's telling you about value, you're better off keeping as it is and selling as it is. Don't touch it up. That's just my personal opinion. Very, very strong opinion about that, guys. So, here we go. This is available. There are 36.5. Grab it while you can, because again, these are beautiful. And I'm gonna do the pendant in just a bit. Again, it's all personal um, personal choice in terms of touching it up. It's If you want to have a bag and you get a good price and you can have it touched up, you want to do it for your own aesthetics. But just to point out, it just really, um, especially on the Chanel, bags like the Chanel Dianas if it doesn't need it then um I won't recommend it I, I didn't end up doing an auction Debbie I just ended up slashing the price on the maxi okay I don't have much left guys I'm running out I'm running out guys I'm running out of bags um I have in this box a very special bag and here we go it is a Kelly dance hmm. but guys as mentioned it's just my perspective I could be totally wrong just my opinion <laughs> it's a trick inside this again it is in the color trench it is a kelly dance now kelly dances guys was something that was produced in ever color now the kelly dance came out in the early 2000s so around sorry so around 2011 to 12 is when the kelly dance originally came out um, now the Chanel, I don't think they touched the Chanel vintage. I'm not too sure because I don't, I don't use the services as well. Um, are there purple Kellys or Animone, an enemy been searching for Pima, Iris, Crocus, Lilac? I had the Crocus Burke in 25, not in a Kelly, but I do have a Crocus Burke in 25 for sale. I don't think the Chanel does chuck chuck for colour. But I could be wrong because I just don't use the service. So any of the ladies here know if Chanel offer that, please do let us know. <coughs> so here we go. Um, here we go. This is an ever colour. It's Palladium hardware. It's an end stamp. So roughly around 2011, the first time that they introduced the Kelly dance in the beautiful, almost like a caramel tone. Condition on this is absolutely perfect. Now, a Kelly Dance is one of my favorite bags, um, which can be used in several ways. It can be used as a cute clutch bag. It comes with a strap as well. Yeah, oh my God, turn it into an NFT. NFT. <laughs> Inside, it's in pristine condition. This is the leather ever color. I love my Kelly dances, guys. Um, 
so this one i just hadn't worn I, like literally i bought it pre-loved and i never ended up using it the condition is almost like immaculate it comes with a dust bag it comes with a box and um, now let me quickly just show you how you can style up this kelly dance so i love the fact that you can wear it as like a, a cute little clutch now again i'm not too fast if this doesn't sell because it's something i wasn't using i thought okay i'll add it in if it sells if it doesn't then i will keep it like my black kelly i ended, it ended up prompting me to wear my black kelly once it didn't sell so these these pieces are available only for the show today and then they will go offline an enemy yes i love my enemy and then i have a um which is just it's such a fun color now this can be worn as like doubled up over the shoulders it can also be worn as a backpack so you just simply do it like this and then i'll show you what this looks like on as a backpack <laughs> trudy this is amazing like it's such a beautiful color now this is worn as a cute backpack condition guys is pretty much nine out of ten um, i'm going to bring the holiday pendant out in just a bit I'm always dipty, I love colour, I buy neutrals and I never end up wearing them. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I'm just going to take a sip of my drink. Um, I love colour. So, guys, you will see we have a vert, I think it's vert citrus on our website for almost double the price. This is £8,450, which is US dollars you cannot get this color it's a discontinued color so if you do want this guys honestly it's beautiful it comes with a felt comes with a pouch comes with a dust bag it comes with a box the condition is absolutely incredible and i'm going to quickly show you trudy the colorway um like it's the most insane like beige tone now it's super durable i just have had so much use out of my kelly dances um, they're really designed to wear as a hands-free bag and Evercarlo is a really durable tone as well. It is definitely latte and cappuccino tones. Um, and the dance for me, I kind of like have a great story about the dance. So <laughs> when I first started my career um, as an, uh, a luxury consultant and authenticating a company it is it's like oat vibes oh my god that's such a true uh, good uh, good way to describe it um i ended up buying a kelly dance it was in blue jean and um the bag i bought from a pre-love store which i was consulting at the time ended up being a stolen bag now in the uk if you have a stolen bag <laughs> this was from a, a reseller and the owner the previous owner who i know is actually a reseller was telling me about her rare Kelly dance that ended up being stolen from someone that worked with her in her company. Um, I, I've become a good friend like of her. Well, I've now become a friend of hers, which obviously in the industry. Um, and she was telling me that her Kelly dance had been stolen, ended up being the one that I had. So obviously I then end up losing the bag. Obviously I got my money back, but from then I was on the hunt out for a Kelly dance. I then saw a black one on Luxury Promise. I then saw this one, which wasn't, um, again, something that I had a chance to use. And then I managed to score one from the store. Now, someone did get away with this bag. It just sold. Was it Trudy? Is this going all the way to Trudy? If it is, then I am so, so happy if you did. Uh, was it Trudy? Yay! Oh my God, Trudy! I can't believe you're awake right now. I'm so happy, honestly. Trudy, you saw this on the last show, right? Have you been waiting patiently for this bag for the whole show? If you told me I would have showed you earlier, Trudy, thank you so much. I'm so, so happy it's going to. It's one of the bags that I was thinking, do I get rid of? Do I not get rid of? I am not a neutral girl. Uh, I love my colour bags, but honestly, you will love, love her. I'm so happy you got this, Trudy. Thank you so much. Um, you'll enjoy her for the rest of your life. Like, it will be 
And then when you're done, you can sell her as well. So congrats. Okay, let's put this bag away. So guys, I think I'm done. I don't think I have anything left. Do I have anything left, um, Kristen, from what you can see that I might have missed out? I think I've done everything for today. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> You got the LV box for that bag. Oh, um, the LV box belongs to another bag. Otherwise, I would have given it to you. It actually belongs to the Epi, the um, Louvre, the Petite Mal that I sold this uh, just this earlier. I I'll check if I have one. I'm going to do the holiday pendant now, guys. Hi, baby. Hi. Daddy didn't make me tea. Hello? Tell Daddy to make me some tea. Okay, I'm Good night, baby. Love you. Love you. Sorry. Uh, that was just my son saying good night. So, congratulations. Uh, I'll show you the navy in just a second, and I will do the holiday pendant. I don't have any scarves and twillies. I have the one... Um, he's ran out the door now. <laughs> I don't have any scarves today. Daddy made it 10 minutes ago. Oh, thank you. Love you. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Hi. How many people are we at? 162. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Uh, yes, Trudy, it comes with the box. I'm, I'm still wrapping it away because I'm like taking my sweet time to put your bag away for you. He is so cute. Adam actually, my husband made me a cup of tea that's been waiting there on the side. Didn't realise. <laughs> I have a good family. Okay. I'm going to do the name. Uh... Oh, thank you, guys. He's such a good boy. I've got good babies. Okay. So, um, I am, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I've, lost, I've lost sight of what I'm doing now. Oh, blue, blue Chanel, caviar, holiday VCA, and uh, anything else am I meant to do? Guys, this is still available. This is still available for 3750 It's a microchip Chanel bag. An excellent price at 3750 That's still available. And I'm going to do the Chanel caviar, the Chanel caviar. And I will then do the holiday pendant. And I'll tell you what the holiday pendant is. So... This is in a pristine condition. Um, there, it's a navy, again navy, it's neutrals. I, guys, you know I love my color. I love my pinks and I love my yellows and my reds and my greens. They're the colorful stuff that I love. This is a um, navy caviar Chanel flat bag. Um, I, have a, I have got glass, a classic flap. I need to go through Adam's wardrobe as well to sell his ties. Again, um, somewhere to the corner, but just to one corner. The rest is um, in excellent condition. So, Katina, the newer bags have a microchip in it, um, whereas the older ones um, have um, the cereal sticker inside. So, it's a newer version bag, basically. So, here we go. It's got gold hardware. It's caviar. It's in good condition. I'll just quickly put the screen. See, I don't have any pink bags for sale, um, and the wear is to this corner here. But the rest of it is in good condition. So, there you go. That's the medium, the small caviar flat. And my last item for today... I do have a small... Uh, I'm going to have a show tomorrow, guys. 
So I'll have a show tomorrow. Um, tell me about our show. Kristen, tell everyone about our show tomorrow as well that we've got together. What have I done with the holiday pendant? In the meantime, I'm going to look for the holiday pendant. Okay, I don't have any more Kellys, unfortunately. Uh, so tomorrow at 5 p.m., I have a show with um, the lovely Kristen in Canada. So Kristen, who is from Canada, um, we are doing a project with Christos to launch in Canada, guys. So you'll be able to tune in. Um, I need to, Olivia, I don't have one with me. I need to grab the, the tweed. So I'm going to continue my closet clear out sale for the next few weekends um so i'll be doing a show pretty much every saturday so i'm going to quickly go on and marie we need to sell it to us or exchange it for another color so it comes full set so every year um we've got a show in canada guys which is 5 p.m tomorrow so every year 5 p.m bst so every year um, Van Cleef launch a very rare stone, um, which is called the Holiday Pendant for Christmas. And they launch them in different colours and never then reproduce it. This year, they have produced a very limited edition, a Holiday Pendant in the Tiffany Blue in white gold with a diamond in the middle. Now, this is the Holiday Pendant. Now, the Holiday Pendant is available only to special VVIP customers, which have spent probably over 20 250,000 pounds but on their fine jewelry not on like the alhambras or uh the five motive bracelets we're talking about like the exclusive one-off customized pieces those are your vip customers pretty much and i'm going to quickly just quickly show you the color so this is like a beautiful tiffany blue with a diamond in the middle. You can see it's sparkling. I need to very much, let me, um, sorry guys, I'm putting you guys near my feet. <laughs> Again, how beautiful is this? It's like a beautiful porcelain, like a turquoise blue with Tiffany blue with a diamond in the middle. Now, are only a few hundred produced of these. Of course, I had to get my hands on one. So we do have this one available for, uh, I did actually have this on the show earlier at 7995. Today, I'm gonna do this at an exclusive price, guys, at around 7,400 pounds. So I'm gonna do a really special price for um, you guys at 7,400 pounds. Your customs and your duties will be included. If you do want this, the only thing I have to ask you to do is say sold. This literally has come in today now the holiday pendants do sell at premium price points um and again once this is gone you'll never ever have the opportunity earlier today i told you the price was eight thousand pounds i believe it was like 7995 today right now i'm doing it at seven thousand four hundred pounds this guys when these are launched for christmas they will fly out I have not advertised it to anybody yet, hasn't gone us on our socials, no one's spoken about it yet. We are the first people to have this. So if you want this, you do need to say sold. And then if you send me a um, DM, so £7,400 in dollars, Kristen is, how beautiful, 8209 US dollars. That's including your customs and your duties. Like, it's a special, special price, guys, for this. Farah, amazing. Congrats. Oh, my God. You've been waiting for this so patiently. I'm so happy. So, Farah, if you send me um, or Kristen a DM. Kristen, do you want to get uh, Farah to send you a DM? Or me one? I don't know. Who do you want to Farah to send a message to? Uh, who would be eat? because I know you've got invoicing to do for the rest of the Van Cleef pieces we sold. So I will send you an invoice on this one, um, Farah. So I'm going to send you my email. Uh, 
or you can send me a DM to Sabrina Sadiq. My email is sabrina at luxurypromise.com. Um, so that's my email. Send me a email, please. If you are in New York, maybe I can I can bring it to you in person. Uh, I am arriving in the USA on Saturday. So guys, that's it. I believe it's time to go. Let's Kristen get back to her family. Um, thank you so much, Farah. Congratulations to everybody who purchased something today and for your amazing, 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 amazing support. I guys know you want clothes. So tomorrow I will take you inside my actual wardrobe and we're going to go through some clothing with you. Um, so do stay tuned for my live show tomorrow with Kristen at 5 p.m. And then a quick power hour show. It's going to be a short show because I don't have much left anymore, guys. I've been cleaned out. And I promise I will dedicate my Saturday evenings to you guys because I love having you here as well. Um, the pendant was waiting for Farah. Really? Farah, that pendant was waiting for you. So send me an email at sabrina at luxurypromise.com. I have some more bags tomorrow and some clothing. And I'll throw in some twillies and maybe um, Adam's ties. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much. Good night to everybody. Um, I'm gonna, it's a small flat bag. I have to find it. I don't know where I put it. I had it last week and I like have to find it and I will do that next week. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow for you. Okay guys, thanks everyone. Have a fantastic evening and see you all. Bye Alana, bye everybody. See you, thank you Trudy. Bye. I got your email, Farah. <laughs>